you know, um, throughout the years, I've avoided talking about <clears throat> straightway, even mentioning the name, even though uh, I was a part of the ministry, uh, came out and was heavily influenced by uh, the teachings of Pastor Dow. And, you know, throughout the years, being able to grow and develop into the man that I am today, uh, being blessed through the labor of these hands, being able to show fruit uh, in all areas. Uh, and I mean literally all areas. And being able to live a set-apart life, raising my family, uh, and living a peaceful and living a peaceful and quiet old life. You know, I say that to say, you know, uh, but this situation with uh, uh, pa so-called Pastor Rufus has sparked something in me because what I'm seeing, which the Most High told me would come to pass. And this is why I'm finally talking and saying and speaking and speaking directly to uh, Pastor Dow, the ministry. Uh, hypocrisy in action with this Elder Rufus situation. Uh, you have a man that cannot produce. He can only take. He's just like our government. He can only take. He cannot produce himself. And this is a prime example, Israel, of what it means to be uh, a boot-licking, uh, ass-kissing uh, man that can't do nothing. He's just basically a hype man. And now he has to sit back and swallow all of these lies that he's been speaking about this uh, Pastor Dow. Uh, swelling words of vanity, uh, deceiving the hearts of the simple. Uh, is this not the scriptures coming forth right before your very eyes? See, uh, all lies will be exposed. And what you're seeing is a stage playing hypocrite that has done so much damage, done so much turmoil, done so much lying and deceiting. The same thing that he's accusing. Pastor Dow and the elders to do, he's done it himself on numerous occasions. And it's amazing to see how he responds to it. Um, the pretty is sad, you know, and, and, and sorrow comes into my heart because this is not a man capable of, of providing for himself and his family. This is not a man that's capable of of going out there and getting it done. This is not a man that's capable of uh, being blessed through the fruit of his own hands. He's just not. And, and I say it with all confidence. I say it with all observation, with all truth. Uh, and I openly challenge him. See, we're going to see. We're going to see um, uh, in the coming months and years uh, if y'all is with this man. Because I... We got too many people that's that's in Israel coming to fleece Israel because they do not want to produce themselves. We got men like this all throughout Israel. And there's more of them in that ministry that hasn't been exposed yet. But you can know them by their fruit. Uh, they're fat, they're lazy, they're lethargic, uh, and they have no... Um, uh, ability to progress the people that's under them forward, i.e., no land development, i.e., no land purchasing, i.e., no increase in, in, in a quality, i.e., no ability to move uh, uh, their teams or their 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 the 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 headships forward. In any kind of set apart, uh, self sufficient uh, agricultural uh, lifestyle that their pastor, Pastor Charles Dow, 
um, has been advocating for for years and very few people, um, and I'm one of those few, uh, who can get up on camera and say that they've gotten it done, whether community or home state, and continue to get it done. Uh, this is what you're faced with. Uh, hypocrites, lying scoundrels, uh, people that just don't have the, the best uh, interests of the people at heart, and they're allowed to flourish. Why is it that the wicked are allowed to flourish? Uh, but the scriptures talk about this kind of stuff. Uh, it's pretty sad. It really is because, like I said in the pretty, uh, a previous video, there's a lot of people that's going to be hurt and that are hurt and that have been hurt throughout the years, the many years that this has been going on with this uh, Elder Rufus uh, guy. Uh, this is nothing new. And and see, uh, you, you, you see, he got to understand uh, that you can't bite the hand that feeds you. You can't even question the hand that feeds you. Uh, because at the end of the day, that's Pastor Dow's ministry. He started it. It's in his name. Um, he's the face of it. And quite frankly speaking, he knows it. And anybody of real discernment knows it, that no one can replace him. It's just the truth. Um, and in a spirit, you can consense uh, that's a major concern because look at the leadership. Look at the leadership. Look at the so-called men of y'all and see what they're doing, i.e. Uh, Pastor Rufus. I know it's a painful thing uh, to look out. And, you know, I knew that this day would pass. Um, and it's just, it, it, it's it's one of those double-edged things where, you know, uh, it's like, damn, exposed. But then at the same time, damn, what about the all of the people? Darn, what about the, what about the souls? What about the people that is being negatively affected? Uh, uh, the young babes um, that thought that people would have their best interests at heart. When it come to find out they're nothing but a users, a whole bunch of users. You see, you got a lot of people like 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 Elder Rufus or Pastor Rufus. You'll see, he can't get out there and he get, can't get it done himself. He cannot. He just does not have the ability. Uh, looking at this man, because see, a real man of ability can notice and spot a real man of ability. And this is why all of this is happening, because Pastor Dow doesn't need a hype man anymore. He's ascended to a, a certain place where um, it's just the, it's just the, it's just the, uh, the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The rise. This is what happens in the rise. Uh, you know, you, you reach a certain status through a, enough time and energy and effort and, and applying yourself, uh, and then you get to a level where, you know, hey, you know, uh, you're in a much, much better position to um, expend, you know, be expendable of certain things and of certain people. And that's what you see happening. Uh, I'll give you a perfect example. You know, before starting my business uh, and being self-employed and, and going out and, 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 and doing what I do. Uh, there was a certain, I, I take any client, I take any client because, you know, I wanted to get paid. I needed the money, but as business began to grow and as, as, as this phone, uh, continues to rain, it rings more and more and I get more and more business. Uh, you know, I can, I'm in a position now where it's like, you know what? I don't want to do that. No, I, I'm not interested in dealing with that kind of client. Um, uh, that's just how it is. That's just how it is, and this is what's happening uh, right now. Uh, you don't have to deal with certain things once you get to a certain level. And uh, just like clients, people are expendable. Uh, and this is what you're seeing happen right now. There's a whole lot more going on behind the scenes that meets the eye. Uh, you, I, I promise you that. It's not more so of what's 
being not it's it's more so being what's not being said as opposed to being what what's being said. Um uh, you know, you got experience with these matters. Then you know, it's never about the front facing uh bullshit that people put out for you to consume that to think that that's what the real truth is. There's something much more uh nefarious and darker going on, it's been my experience. Uh or nothing going on at all, or or pure slander. E- either way. Uh, you have men that's claimed to have loved one another, exalted one another for years. Um, and now this. See, somebody was operating in the spirit of truth and someone was operating in the spirit of ever. Someone uh, did not notice the wolf in sheep clothing because, see, it's either one person or the other. Or the whole thing is is the wolf in sheep's clothing. Which one is it? Which one is it? Uh, me of a sound mind, uh, growing my own food, hunting, uh, raising 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 my food, being self sufficient, uh, 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 drinking clean water, uh, living debt free. Um, uh, nobody can't come to take my land, and 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 and, and, and being proficient in building, and being proficient in fixing, and being proficient in and land maintenance, and uh, Elder Rufy can't say all that. No, he, no, he can't. He can't. He can't. Uh, uh, building a, a successful, self-sufficient business and creating opportunities for others. Um, uh, as a man that speaks from this position, uh, your modern-day Boaz, uh, I can testify, uh, what ain't it? And this ain't it. Uh, somebody's lying and something, and, and somebody's telling the truth. It's telling the truth. Well, you have to decide for yourself. Uh, because the average person is dumb, dormant, docile, apathetic, lethargic, complacent. Um, uh, uh, and I say it in a certain order because I've heard Pastor Dow say it in the same order. And can't produce shit at all. And this is what you got going on right now. Um, it pretty is sad. It, it really is sad. Uh, but the chickens are coming home to roost. And see, every dog has his day. Whatever you put on the others, it's going to come back on you. It's going to come back on you big time. Whatever evil you've done to others, it's going to come back on you. Because y'all will not be mocked. And this is what you, you see going on. Because see, again, I will say it confidently. Purely, uh, uh, this man, Elder, he cannot pass a route, he cannot survive on his own. He needs your donations, he needs your money, um, because he can't get out there and get it done himself. That's just the fact of the matter. So, how can a man like that lead the assembly of Yah? Pretty sad, isn't it? But by, by by their own admission, by Cat Pastor Corey's admission, by Pastor Dow's admission, by uh, uh well, I've the only videos that I've seen, but I figure they're all in agreement. A a scoundrel in the midst of Israel, causing destruction. Now, I'll go with that because you know the fact of the matter is that uh, you know. Uh, I've seen this thing coming for a long time. I really have seen this coming for a long time. Because, see, such a, and, and, and this, see, this is just the beginning. Mark my words. Because those who cannot produce will be exposed. It's just, excuse me. It's just a fact. Those who cannot produce will be exposed. And this is what you're seeing happening. All pa- all Pastor Rufus had to do is just shut his damn mouth and 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 and, and eat the crumbs that that Pastor Dow threw at his feet, and he would have been fine. But uh, you know it's amazing, right? Uh, uh, you have um, uh, the book of Hebrews, uh, Hebrews five four. Uh, he thought that he was something that he wasn't, even though he had title he didn't understand the order in that title he didn't understand that there was higher levels than him he thought that he was something that he wasn't 
And boy, did he find out quick, fast, and in a hurry um, that he wasn't. That all this king shit, for, for the lack of the... See, it's called the corporate CEO. I come from the corporate background. I understand corporate structure. And when you start a company, an organization, and it's all in your name, and it's all on the tax doc, and it's well established that, that you started it, there ain't nobody above that. You better be caught on some IRS shit. You better be caught on some, some molestation, some criminal shit for you to get locked up. And it's still yours because it's still under your name. And he did not understand that because roofers don't come from no corporate background. All these lies that he told in the past about who he said he was, it's a lie. He was a damn... A, a meat packer or a, 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 a grocery store worker at best. <sighs> By their fruit, you shall know them. Watch this man. Watch this man. Because it's pretty bad out there. And uh, this is a, a pretty old and incapable man given his size and his, his diet. Um, clearly he's fat and, 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 uh, uh, unhealthy. You could just look at it just by looking at him. Um, it's pretty sad, isn't it? Uh, cause the only way he supported himself and them wives, uh, uh, is on the backs of others because he's just like our government. He cannot produce anything. He can only take. The bootlickers. It's amazing. What kind of men uh, will be lifted up only so that other men's asses can be kissed? It's sad, isn't it?